Hi, I'm Jim from Arxon. I'm here at White Shipyard and behind me is the first hybrid electric Arxon 85. Now the boat's getting ready to go in the water, so we thought this would be a great opportunity to show you some of the features below the water line. So let's wander this way and, uh, and take a look. So we've talked a lot in, uh, in our previous walk around videos on the Arxon 85 about the hull design by Humphreys Yacht Design being a low displacement length ratio, really efficient, really low fuel consumption. Um, and excellent sea keeping capabilities. So won't go into too much detail on that in this particular video, but we'll look at some of the other more specific features that you wouldn't normally see. So, um, so first of all, uh, we have this chine here. This is a really important part of the design. Um, when you combine that with the high freeboard and the enclosed bulwarks, it creates a really dry space on deck. Those chines are really effective at deflecting sp spray, deflecting waves as you go through them. Um, really important feature of the design. And we saw that in tank testing and it's been proven on trials with, uh, with the other 85 that we recently delivered. So while we're in the bow area here, um, this boat has a, a bow thruster and a stern thruster. So this tunnel thruster here um, is a 50 horsepower thruster and works in unison with the stern thruster um, in various operating modes. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we move aft. So uh, you'll see here one of a number of uh, sacrificial anodes. So these are zinc. We recess them into the hull just to reduce the drag as much as possible. So we'll, as we go through, we'll see those around the bottom of the boat. So there's another example there. Now this boat has three different modes of stabilization. So we'll start with the fins. So these are fins from Humphrey. Um, and these are carbon fiber fins, really interesting. They are designed and sized so that, as with most fins, they're really effective underway. But they're also of a sufficient size and power that when you're at anchor, they're really effective. And they have a really, uh, a really great feature. And, and that's that when you go into anchoring mode, they actually flip 180 degrees. So a conventional fin, um, as it sort of actuates when you're at anchor, um, it actually walks you towards your anchor slightly. and just create, just loses that, that tension in the anchor cable um, and uh, makes the bow wander a little bit. Whereas when these flip in reverse and they walk you aft, they actually put tension on that chain cable. So they're keeping your bow head to the conditions. So it kind of doubles down almost on, on their capability of, um, of, of, of creating additional comfort because they're, you're, you're rolling less because you're head to the conditions and then you've got the actual effect of them actuating. So really nice piece of kit. We also have gyro stabilizers in here, which we'll talk about in another video and flopper stoppers, which are a means of passive stabilization, um, which are really interesting. And again, we'll, we'll come to those in another, another video. We'll talk about the, uh, the coating. So this anti-fouling here is a product called Intersleek from International. Um, there are obviously lots of coating choices available out there. This is a, uh, a non-ablative coating. Um, it doesn't contain any, any, it doesn't release any biocides. Um, it doesn't continuously leach off its, its coating like its surface like many others do. It's just a, a very, very hardy and slippery coating that prevents, um, prevents uh, fouling from, from sticking to it. Um, and it's designed for boats that are on the move. So whether you're a high speed boat or whether you're a boat like the Arctic 85 that's expected to be spending a lot of time on the move, not so much time sat in marinas, it just prevents, the, um, it, it prevents that biological material from attaching to it. And if you do sit for a while and you get a bit of slime building up, as soon as you start moving again, it just gradually sheds from the mo mo movement of the water. So really key feature about keeping her efficient. I see a rather prominent feature here of the hull are these skegs. So they're a pair of these skegs and they serve a number of purposes. First and foremost, they protect the propellers and the rudders. Um, but they're also really heavy engineered. A lot of focus has gone into these by, um, by our structural designers at Chartwell Marine. Um, the idea being that you can actually ground the boat. So whether you're on a drying grid for maintenance um, or whether you are actually being a bit more adventurous and actually drying her out in a, in a tidal waterway, for instance. So um, between the two skegs and the, and the keel forward, um, she'll, she's structurally engineered to take the ground. Um, really nice feature operationally and just from the general protection perspective of your, of your stern gear. So we'll come under the hull here. Um, another noticeable feature of the hull design are the, uh, are the propeller tunnels. So 
they provide a really smooth flow of water over the props. But they also allow us to really reduce our draft. So we've got a metre diameter props here, um, but our draft is only one and a half metres. So they just really help us pull the props up, um, up into the hull. So really nicely uh, thought through part of the hull design there. And then you'll notice these uh, funky looking rudders. So these are called flow aligned rudders by CJR Propulsion, who have designed and manufactured all of our stern gear, propellers, rudders. So a conventional flat rudder, um, as a sort of the, 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 the rotational nature of the wash coming off the propeller, the way it interacts with that rudder in different places means that you're gonna have some areas where it's interacting nicely and other areas where it's creating drag, noise and vibration. Um, what they've done here is when they've, when CJR have designed the propellers in computational fluid dynamics, they've paired the rudder to match. So the, the profile of that, that twisted profile of the rudder um, is actually optimized to match the wash coming from the propeller. So that wherever that wash hits it, it's much, much higher level of optimization of that flow. Um, so that reduces noise and vibration. It reduces fuel consumption. Uh, it just makes it a much more efficient rudder. And also a pretty, a pretty beautiful thing to look at. Um, so yeah, really, really nice feature there from CJR. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we've got the swing down stern thruster here. So this is a, a tunnel, a, a, a thruster of the same size as the bow thruster, so 50 horsepower. And when that swings down, the Praxis system has a, actually has a, a position holding capability. So at the press of a button, the boat will hold its own position. So whether you are, it's like, like we call it like a virtual anchor, whether you're in a uh, a sensitive area and you can't drop your anchor or whether you're just looking to hold position for a short period of time without having to go through the process of anchoring or, or in deep water um, that's a really nice feature that comes with the Praxis hybrid system. And then finally um, they're just going through uh, commissioning at the moment so we might see them moving at some point but the interceptors across the, the stern on the boat here so not commonly seen on slower speed boats like this um, usually see them on higher speed boats but in the uh, in the tank testing at the very early um, in the very early stages of the design, Humphreys found that above around about 10 knots, the deployment of the blades on these interceptors is really effective at controlling the pitch of the boat. So that reduces your transom immersion, it brings the it brings the stern up, reduces your transom immersion, therefore reduces your resistance. Um, it also gives you a really um, a useful means of just controlling the pitch of the boat in general when you're underway, depending on how you're loaded. Um, they also work in an active mode in, uh, with, the, with the fin stabilizers um, as a, a sort of a, an active ride control. So whether you're, you're turning or whether the boat is just rolling slightly, again, the hydrodynamic effect of those interceptors being deployed has a, makes a real contribution to the, to the comfort on board. So uh, really nice um, piece of kit from an operational um, perspective there. I think that's probably about it. There's uh, obviously a lot of work going on here. Uh, getting ready for the launch of the boat, so we'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions, please let us know in the comments. Um, and we'll look forward to showing you again, um, showing you again the boat when she's afloat shortly. Thanks very much.